We are in Microsoft Office 365 with Exchange Online. I'm going to show you how to edit the, the default mobile device management policy. So we're going to get there by clicking on Admin, assuming you are the admin, so you can make those changes. And that will take you to the Office Admin Center. And from there, you're going to click on the bottom left-hand corner icon and click on Exchange. That will take us to the Exchange Admin Center. And on the left-hand side, click on Mobile. And at the top, go ahead and click on Mobile Device Mailbox Policies. Whichever policy is the default is the one that's going to be active. In this case, the default policy is the default. So let's go ahead and double click on that policy. And we can go ahead and make changes to it, such as we can say whether or not it is the default policy. And we can also decide whether or not to allow mobile devices that don't fully support the policy to go ahead and synchronize email anyway. Not the most secure thing to do to leave that checked. So let's go ahead and uncheck that and then click on security. From here, I'm going to recommend that you require a password, but instead of a simple password, we're going to say, hey, why don't you require an alphanumeric password that has at least one uppercase, one lowercase, and at least one symbol. Now, you can change that by hitting the drop down and choosing up to four symbols if you like. We can also check to require encryption if we want, say what the minimum password length is, number of sign-on failures before the device is wiped. And you want to be careful with that one because as soon as you hit that number, it will wipe the phone. And then require sign-in after the device has been inactive. How many minutes would you like to set that for? And enforce a password lifetime. So the typical amount is 90 days, but you may want to have a different one or not at all. There's also a password recycle count, and that is how uh, often you can use the same password again. Now, in this case, it's set to zero, which means that you can always use the same password again. But if we change that to five, for instance, then that means that the password we used the very first time after it expires 90 days five times, the sixth time we go to reset the password, we can go back to our first password again. So that is uh, completely up to you how many times you want to have that recycle set up. When you're all done, you can click Save, and that will change the default MDM policy and will affect all mobile devices that connect going forward.